Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tamriel. Welcome to another adventure of Clubs Alone Orc, the hero of the Orc, the Honorable Azra, the hero of Draenor. Let me move the mic a little bit. Alright, good. I'm currently using a new software. I'm using Shadowplay, which came with my Nvidia card. Uh, now that I got upgraded to like a 750 over Christmas, I realized there was Shadowplay on there, and uh, I didn't like it because when I, whenever I recorded, it didn't keep consistent frames, but I got it to work now, so we're gonna be having. World of Warcraft episodes in 60 FPS. Boom! We got it. We're gonna have 60 FPS, 720 videos. So enjoy the the uh, 60 FPS smoothness. Turn up the video to 720 and enjoy the nice smooth frames that I usually get when I play the game. Right now, it's currently saying that it's currently just playing 87, something like 87, almost like 90 frames per second. But you will see 60s. It doesn't matter. You'll improve the quality of the video, nevertheless. Let's go ahead and get into the adventures of Klebs the Lone Orc and Coltus, the mighty boar, the mighty rival of Klebs. That's gonna be sticking around with us with the adventure. We are up here on the hill. We recently, if you don't remember last episode, we talked to Outrider Urukag and his frost wolves that just shown there. And he told us we gotta go upstairs, I believe. And first we gotta kill some Outriders, and then we gotta also get. Uh, Gruta Wufchu. We gotta kill Gruta Wufchu, and I believe that's just a boss, which is gonna be easy for us to kill. Let's go ahead and begin with our regular, you know, regular on just on, on par fun combat. We might even. There we go, I'm targeting somebody finally. <laughs> I turned up the sound a little bit, so for me the audio feels a little weird, but it's kinda nice, and after, you know, not, it feels like I haven't played WoW in a long time. That's the that's the one thing about World of Warcraft. I have not really been getting on as much ever since my guild kind of kicked me out. Well, I left the guild. It didn't kick me out. It's just, I guess they kind of gave me an excuse to leave the guild. So that's why I'm just like, not even like, I don't know. I haven't really been on WoW for a while. I don't really get on as, as often as I did. I don't even get on to do any of my garrison stuff, which I probably should be doing, because, I mean, why not? Why waste the time that I have to not do some garrison stuff, you know? Garrisons are important, and in the long run, if I make sure that I focus on them, will be beneficial for me, and uh, it's probably just smarter for me just to keep up with them uh, on a daily basis and make sure that I'm actually doing them rather than not doing them. Nevertheless, it does feel a little weird being able to still see the beautiful frames that I'm having right now and be able to record at the same time. Because I'm used to fraps just bumping my quality down, um, bu bumping my frames down to like from 40 to 30 or from 45 to 30. That's what I'm used to, having this kind of recorder quality and being in the habit of like having the same, I guess, bump down frames because of the quality... I guess higher up, I don't know. Fraps doesn't record with a graphics card. Shadowplay records what the graphic card displays. It uses the graphic card's uh, graphic card processor to actually record. While, uh, <coughs> excuse me. While Fraps just uses CPU power, which that can heavily affect frames for sure. Let's go ahead and attack this guy over here. It looks like we're gonna have to fight a couple of ogres. Let's get these guys out. Let's take care of them over here. I believe we also gotta save somebody over here. Let's go ahead and save this wolf. I think this wolf needs to be saved maybe possibly i have no idea but let's go ahead and save this wolf i mean it is a wolf of the frost wolf so we might as well help our frost wolf buddies out there we go and the wolf kind of just chills there orphan oh it's an orphan frost wolf oh i'm really sorry that you're an orphan my bad uh let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and get the the other outrider i think the every single outrider at this point is just dead are we just trying to recover the bodies or trying to find their bodies? There's one over there that's dead as well. Let's go ahead and recover the body. What are we actually doing for them even? A proper party. Burn the corpses. Oh, we're burning the corpses. Okay. I, I don't know why I said burn the corpses. But, I mean, as long as they get to, you know, move on to the next life, that is pretty good. I'm willing to actually, like, help them move on to the next life, you know, part the life that they no longer exist in and uh, help them move on, help them pass over to the to the afterlife. Let's go go over this nice frost, uh, I guess, uh, dune? I guess that pretty much, that's pretty much what they'd be called, a snow dune. It's like a desert dune, but it's like made out of snow instead. Let's go over here this way, jump. Can't jump around, can we? Let's go ahead and go around then. Get this guy. I'm attacking him because we're gonna have to kill him anyway. <laughs> we'll, kill, we'll have to kill him nevertheless. Let's go ahead and get this thing turned in. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about, let's say, uh, let's talk about the 
wild frost wild tokens let's go ahead and talk about them a little bit do we need to do anything for you no we don't let's go and uh, get to the battle of thunder pass so let's say we talk a little bit about <coughs> excuse me been doing some voice impersonations and just been messing around joking around my brother earlier and <coughs> i feel like i kind of ruined my voice there a little bit but i think i'll be all right in like a little bit let's avoid any of the ads any of all any or all the ads and simply just move on with our life and uh get over to the great battle of the thunder pass so the wow tokens i'm not sure if any of you have purchased any yet but i bought one so far just one i decided just to see how much it is on auction house it was like 21k or something or 22k uh gold and i decided you know what why not just buy one see what it's like see what the transaction is like the transaction is pretty easy the fact that it costs so much money kind of makes me feel like the newer players that don't really can't really afford monthly subscription will never be able to afford a wow token like ever because the problem with them, I'm just going to take a break here for a little. The problem with wild tokens, in order for players to actually obtain those wild tokens, they need to find a way to farm money. And the, only, the best way to farm money is to get to a late content and farm the things that everybody else needs. Rather than, you know, you can't be just level 10 and get 20k out of nowhere. You can't. You, you can't possibly find to do that. I'll just use like hundreds and hundreds of bots to just farm resources and some extremely cheap for auction house just to get enough money for one wild token. It's going to be impossible, so in order for players to actually get into the late game and actually be able to make the money for those wild tokens, they would have to farm a lot, they'll have to do a lot of professions, have to work the auction house, have to learn how to manage, like, you have to get one of those, like, stock patterns that will, like, monitor the auction house, like, left and right, make sure to know what, thi what things are buying, what things are being bought, what things are being sold, for how much, and, like, coordinate everything, it would be just a giant mess. So honestly, I don't know how new players or players entering World of Warcraft will be able to ever afford those tokens. Which, you know, it's going to be very unfortunate. I guess the battle's already starting. So now we are currently going to be fighting the Iron Horde and pretty much holding off the entire uh, invasion. We're going to be fighting in this giant canyon. And uh, Drekthar, Farseer Drekthar is going to be up on a hill and pretty much trying to figure out a way to stop the invasion, stop the forces from coming while we hold them off. And honestly, I am really excited. We got here, we got Duratan, we got Galnar, we got Thrall, we're going to have Farseer Drekthar, we got Draka. We are ready for the battle and the enemy is coming. I'm going to just kill the guys with the flags because those, those are the ones that I'm going to need to kill the most. Those are my targets that I have to take care of. Every every other target, I'm going to let the NPCs take care of them. Me and Koltas are going to take care of these guys. Come on, kill shot, kill shot. There we go, kill shot. Beautiful. Bring him more. Oh, let's go ahead and get that iron uh, cannon. It's going to be one target that we're going to have to get. So we might as well go ahead and start attacking it. Because, I mean, it's going to be our target as it is. So, you know, we might as well go ahead and get jump up on it and see if we can anticipate the... Uh, the battle. Let's go ahead and get right up to it. Okay, uh, Spike, um, I'm naming Koltusk and everybody else. You go ahead and kite or like tank, tank all these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this Iron Cluster. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill it yet, but we're gonna kill it anyway. There we go. Now we got a mission to destroy the Iron uh, Cluster Pult. And looks like the Cluster Pult is currently being busy by all, like being held busy by all my pets that are pretty much attacking it. And Koltusk just got a knockback there for a little bit. I'm gonna let them take care of it all, like, take care of tanky. Why well, just, you know, just pelt it. And the cannon is trying to just, like, circle it around and trying to find which target to kill first. Like, which, uh, which of my boars to actually hurt first. But it can, because, uh, pets have a mechanic where they just get behind the target every single time. Which, honestly, I think is a smart mechanic. Alright, next enemy to fight. These guys don't have any flags. I'm gonna let the other NPCs take care of them. We got Drakthar trying to stir up the canyon and pretty much bring the canyon down these guys. And we got a bunch of axe throwers over there. We got a bunch of melee fighters down there in the canyon. This is a full-on battle. This is a full-on war at this point. And it is pretty epic. I'm just waiting for things to kill. I mean, I could just go run around and kill some of these grunts, but then I'm my targets. Like, actual, like, legitimate targets. So, there they are. They're the flag guys. That's who I need to kill over there. Let's go ahead and assault this group over here, the group of three. Let's see if we can pull some of them in. Just pulled one of them in. Which, you know, it's gonna be enough. As long as we can at least, you know, pull a couple of them in every now and then, I think we'll be fine. There we go. Take you on real quick. The, uh, I believe they're called, like, the Hammer, the hammer Sisters. Alright. Uh, we got a couple more over there to kill. Let's go ahead and get them. 
It's a meat grinder. Let's go ahead and get on these uh, hammer sisters over there. Anticipate them ahead of time. There we go. Got some. We could probably pull some AOE. There we go. We could probably pull a couple with us. There we go. And now we just need to wait for another like mini boss to come in. God, these these girls like they just jumping all over the place. <laughs> and wielding giant ass hammers, so it's kind of surprising that they're able to do all that. Drekthar protected. Alright, let's go ahead and protect Drekthar. They're gonna be assaulting over here. Let's get on the black black run our hole. I'm sorry about that. Feeling a little burpy, just had lunch. But I think I'll be alright. Let me turn up the music a little bit so I can hear things a little better and hear the music. There we go. Coltusk, take on the next guy. These guys just don't really do anything. They just kind of, you know, they could be helping, but they're not they don't want to help me for some reason. <laughs> Alright, well, Gnar is coming in to help us, so that is awesome. I really like this like this part of the battle because it makes me feel like more united with the rest of the orcs and the rest of the frost wolves. And it, feel, it makes me feel like part of this giant army, which is something I've always wanted in an MMO. Uh, if, before I played, uh, before I got into, into PC, I played on Xbox and I played stuff like Oblivion. I uh, played a lot of other RPGs and I really wanted just a game that makes me feel like, like part of the army, part of the big grand army. And nothing made me feel like that ever, except World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft was the first taste of like feeling like a little guy in this big world, and I'm just like a grunt in the army, but I'm like this important grunt, not just a regular grunt, but like a general. And World of Warcraft kind of gave me that experience, made me feel like part of the many people that I'm just traveling around and trying to like exist in this harsh world that is, you know, Azeroth or Draenor or whatever. After that, the feeling kind of wore down as I got used to the game, which. You know, every single every single game kind of loses its pizzazz a little bit, but there's still things that I appreciate about World of Warcraft that you know that other games don't have. Oh god, we got the vicious long tusk now. All right, now this is one of the big mini bosses that I really want to fight and take out. Let's probably see if we can slow him down. There we go. Can we slow him down with that? No, we can't. We can't do anything for him unless we put up a frost like a freezing trap. The nap may be able to slow him down. Not not really. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I wish I had something. Maybe a bunny shot will do it. Strike. No, bunny shot still doesn't do anything with this guy. He should be slowing down, honestly. Um, that will be stunned or something. I tried it with other characters like a death knight, and this guy usually will be stunned or slowed down. But I guess not by Klebs. I guess nothing goes by Klebs or nothing goes by nothing goes by this giant long tusk when Klebs is around. Let's go ahead and just AOE the rest out of everything. And oh my God, we can just AOE all over this place now. This is gonna be awesome. Now this is gonna be a total AOE fest. Let's go ahead and get some kills, get some important kills left and right. There we go. There we go. Getting all these kills. Look at that. Clearing up the enemies. Oh, and other Elegs coming in. These things are Elex? Holy crap. I kinda wish you could gather that as a mount. I believe you can at a certain point. And my phone's vibrating, ignore that. <laughs> I don't even know what like I don't even know what's happening with my phone at this point. I get emails like every single day. I need to check my spam folder and like unsubscribe from some of these services that I have. I'm not subscribed to like any weird servers, but like some petitions every now and then. That's one, one thing I hate about petitions. You sign a petition and then they just continue to spam you every day of the, like every waking day. It's like, oh, we got this petition and that petition. Like, no, I just saw one petition to make sure the internet was not gonna get monop like monopolized and heavily controlled by a cable company. It's done. I don't need anything else. By the way, if you have never heard of that, that was a thing actually, where Cable companies wanted to make, wanted to charge you extra for the sites you used, <laughs> which, in my opinion, that's kind of crap. If you never heard of it, well, good news. Internet cable companies will never be able to do it now because it was signed in so that internet is like a utility. You can't like control something like that. Now we got now Grim Storm Hand. Now this guy's gonna be kind of difficult, but we have our stampede, so I think we'll be just fine with our stampede. And as long as we make sure that he is, you know, not moving anywhere, and as long as we can, you know, range him from far away, and not get hit by the spears, we should be just fine. Massive shockwave. It's good enough. Nope, no matter. We couldn't avoid that. We probably should run the other way around. We probably could go run around the circle. That might help us out a little bit. Let's see if we can stun him any. No, we can't. Maybe I completely missed him. Who knows? Maybe the, he's something like a lead boss that won't be able to like stun him anyway. So let's continue just circle him around until... Oh, there we go. Get away from that. Go avoid all the spears. There we go. Look at us. We're actually getting on top of things. We really, like, we really get on top of everything. 
I need to see what the other builders have. Master Skull, no, Master Skull doesn't need. Bestial Wrath, uh, pet deals 20% additional damage and breaks all loss of control effects. We'll probably should use Bestial Wrath to make sure that our pet does more damage. Probably would be a really good idea. Let's go ahead and use some more. Uh, there we go, let's go ahead and send out some kill commands. And never mind, we're already done. We were done before I could even finish my train of thought. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and continue fighting more of these waves.